Hi, um, another quick tutorial. Um, my last unit was professional practice. We had to create a bunch of personal promo material. Uh, one of those was an emailable PDF CV portfolio. Um, and the general problem amongst my peers was how to make the file size small enough um, to be emailed. Now, professionals are obviously going to know this. Uh, but for students, especially for myself, it was I'm still learning InDesign as a program. Um, now I looked at no tutorials for this. It was just a case that I did dig in because I needed it small enough. Um, so we're going to crack on with the tutorial. All the images in my portfolio are at print recommendations or higher. Um, so they're all JPEG. They're all 300 ppi and they're all color space at cmyk so just saving this as a regular print pdf is going to be absolutely massive so i exported these as print pdfs and then imported them into another indesign file so as i can get my layout sorted correctly so once so i've done that I need to export it so we want to go to file export um, I'm going to save this to the desktop and I'm going to save it as my portfolio um, and make sure you've got Adobe PDF interactive this gives you a whole bunch of options for saving the file for digital media so email uh, websites and all that stuff so we click save we want to replace it um, I'm going to turn view after exporting off. Doesn't matter whether you turn it on or off, it's down to personal choice. Uh, make sure you've got all pages selected in here. Um, everything else will be left at default. The most important part is the image handling. Now, this decides your file size. I always have JPEG glossy selected, uh, JPEG quality, personal preference at the end of the day. Um, I usually stick at high because I see the, the least decrease in quality uh, for screen uh, resolution. Now usually you'd have 300 ppi selected um, but because you're working with screen 72 is sort of what everybody uses for screen and even when you print this off it'll, the images will still look pretty clean anyway. So make sure 72 is selected, click OK what we'll do is it'll export the file um, to wherever you saved it to and then if we go find the file that I saved on the desktop so this here um, if we bring up the information on it file size is actually 1.8 meg which is really good considering how much stuff I had in there and the fact that all the images were at 300 ppi um, so that's just a quick heads up and a tip when saving for digital especially with your PDF portfolios and stuff um, so I mean I hope that helps um, if you and if you found the video useful um, subscribe because I'm going to be looking at doing more videos in the future um, give it a like if you want to and any sort of feedback on the video would be great um, it just helps me with everything else in the future um, until next time guys thank you for watching and yeah goodbye